Hey guys, it's Jimmy and I'm back with another unboxing video. Today, we're going to be unboxing the Corsair Virtuosos RGB Wireless XT headphones. So these headphones right here are the top of the line headphones for Corsair. These are the premium quality ones and um, they are retail for $270 USD. So I was contemplating between this uh, XT and the SE. Now my friend told me and he recommended me to get the XT over the SE because the fact is that if you guys can see right here that this headphones offer Dolby Atmos uh, sound quality and the SE does not. So it is a little more pricey on the price point and I will be coming out with a full review on these headphones later down the line. But today I just want to show you guys what's inside the box. So if you guys are wondering why I have wireless headphones, why I decided to get wireless headphones, it's because the fact that I've used wired headphones for the past seven years and these, they're really quite comfortable. They, are, they get the job done. But I just really wanted a wireless solution because I don't want wires. Like for me, my desk is covered in wires like from my mouse to my keyboard and then this thing is another wire I have to handle. If you guys are wondering what headphones these are, these are the Logitech uh, G633 wired. I know they have a wireless one but I got the wired one about seven years ago and I've been using these ever since. So basically, like for me, I feel the need, it's time to upgrade from wired headphones to wireless headphones. That's the reason why I got these instead. Um, if you guys are wondering, yes, I do game. I game casually. I'm not like a, um, I'm not a professional gamer or anything like that. I don't game competitively or, you know, uh, anything like that. I just game for casual play. Um, the games I've been playing are mostly adventure solo type games like Skyrim and Assassin's Creed and like uh, Pokemon and all this stuff like that. But I also play multiplayer games like I've been getting into Valorant lately. I've been getting into Apex Legends and other games like that. Um, so for me, I really wanted to upgrade the headphones because of that reason uh i game now if you guys are wondering yes i do stream from time to time unfortunately i haven't streamed on my twitch channel in about three months um but that is really going to change i really do want to start streaming um at least on the weekends like probably friday or saturday or whenever i'm free um so if you guys want to follow me on my Twitch, I'll leave that down in the description box below. Also guys, give me a follow on my Instagram as well. I post every time I go live, I post on my Instagram stories. So if you guys see my Instagram stories of me going live, you guys can come in, we can chat in the Twitch chats and things like that. So just, yeah, um, join me if you guys wanna see me game casually. Um, but let's get to the unboxing of this headphones. So if you guys can see here from the box, it looks very nice. Like it has this little pattern type of thing. It has like these texture patterns and the headphone picture of the headphone, it actually pops out. So it really feels, you can really feel it on here. And it's by Corsair. It does have Dolby Atmos. Like I said before, the SE does not have Dolby Atmos. Um, it also has dual wireless. So it has Wi-Fi. It looks like it has Wi-Fi on here and also Bluetooth at the same time. So it says the Virtuoso's uh, RGB Wireless XT. Uh, so these are the, this is right here is the front of the box. The Corsair logo is on the side of the box. And then on the other side is also the Corsair logo. On top, it has the, uh, the name of the headphones along with the Corsair. The bottom has some information and then the back has more information. So it has Bluetooth, it has a bunch of other features on here as well and I can't wait to show you guys what's in the box. So I will not be needing my pocket knife this time. It actually has pull tabs right here if you guys see on the overhead camera. It actually has pull tabs right here. So I'm going to go ahead and pull these tabs off. Same thing on the other side. And then it just, it should just slide out, right out. So, oh wow, I really like this black box. It has like the logo, the Corsair logo on there. And you lift it up. 
Oh, wow, look at these. Okay, I'm gonna get to the headphones later. I'm gonna leave it off to the side right now. It comes with a nice carrying pouch. Um, I do kind of wish that Corsair did have a hard case instead of a pouch because of the fact is that like guys you're paying $270 for this type of headphones and I kind of do wish that you know in order for you to protect the headphones when you're traveling and stuff uh, to have like a hard case over a soft pouch like this you guys can see it's so flimsy you know i rather have a hard case than a flimsy little pouch but nonetheless like carstair didn't really have to include it in here so it's very nice that they did include it um let's see what else is in the box okay lift this up you can move that to the side Oh, okay, we have some goodies in here. So this is the quick start guide and instruction, warranty, blah, blah, blah. We don't need that. Um, let's see what else, what's in here? Nope, that's it. Okay, so in here, this right here is the microphone that plugs straight into the headphones, which we'll look at in a minute. Look at that, that's so cool. And then, this wire here, this is, what is it? Oh, it's a 3.5 uh, 3 millimeter headphone uh, adapter, which, uh, with a controller. So, okay, with the controllers on here, which is very cool. They included that. That's very nice. Right here, this is the USB type C to USB type A adapter. Which is very nice, guys, that a lot of these new devices now aren't including USB Type-C. I really like uh, the companies now, they're moving away from like micro USB or mini USB or uh, like any other USB other than USB Type-C. I really, really like that. They're trying to make USB Type-C a standard now all across the board. So like, I really do like that. And then these are, I'm thinking, these go straight into your computer. So what's really awesome about these headphones is that you really don't have to use it wirelessly. You could also tether it as well. That's the reason why they have these cables. You know, that's uh, the reason why they have these cables is for you. If you want it to be wired, you could just hook it up to your computer and it'd be wired. Or you could hook it up to your phone or device, whatever. I know nowadays phones are not coming with the headphone jack, um, but you know, if you have like a, the switch or something like that, you can actually use these, the, the headphone uh, adapter for it. And then this right here is the wireless adapter for your computer. This basically controls everything wirelessly when you plug into your computer. Uh, let's move this out of the way and take a look at the headphones itself. Oh, wow. Okay guys, comparing the headphones Hold on. Comparing headphones, literally comparing headphones right now. These are my old headphones right here, right? Comparing headphones right now, this is hefty. This is a hefty little guy. Like I can feel the weight of it. It feels, this weighs, I think it weighs more than, than my actual uh, Logitech headphones do. And I think because of the materials that they use, it's not all plastic like the, uh, like these headphones right here, the Logitech headphones is mostly all plastic. Uh, these headphones right here, the Corsair ones, use premium like quality material like leather and like um, like these uh, chrome type things, chrome type material and it's like metal. So it is, it feels heftier. So I can't wait to test it out and see how uh, I could last with these on. With the Logitech ones, I could last uh, like hours on those. Like I could be listening to music or playing games for hours on those headphones. So I like to see, test out how long I could last with these headphones on. So when we take a look around the headphones right here, look at the overhead camera. Like you guys can see the Corsa logo. And for me, uh, when it says RGB, I actually question because when I looked at the pictures online, it, it just shows like this. It just shows the headphones like this. So I was like, wait, where's the RGB? 
the RGB is actually on the logo, the Corsair logo. So you get to change the color if you want to, or you can uh, you can set it as the default color, which is probably like rainbow or whatever. Um, for me, it's I'm gonna switch it to red because my whole theme of my computer setup is basically Iron Man. So I'm trying to set that mood up where it's kind of like the, having that dark tone but also having the color features of Iron Man, which is the red and the yellow and like the gold color accent. So I can't wait to just customize this to just stay red. So basically this is the left side right here. The left side is where you see all the ports and stuff like that. So it has the USB type C port, it has the headphone jack port. And then this right here is where your, uh, your microphone will go. So basically right here, if you guys can see, this is where your head is, right? And so the microphone will be attached like this. Typically, I don't like to use the microphone that is part of the uh, headphones. I have my own uh, set of microphone. I use the Blue Yeti microphone. So for me, I'm probably going to be testing this out to see whether or not, I don't have too, too sure. I don't know whether or not I should stick with the Blue Yeti, or I should um, use this from now on. I, I really don't know. Um, but other than that, on here on the right side, you guys can see they have all the other things, the other tools. So this right here is the volume rocker. This right here switches from USB mode to wireless mode. And then this thing also has Bluetooth. So it can connect to your phone or your iPad or whatever Bluetoothly. Uh, through Bluetooth and you guys can control the volume and the things like that through these controls right here. So this is how it attaches. If you guys are wondering, this is the mic right here. This is how it attaches. So if you guys go right here, it feels comfortable to be honest guys. It, it really feels comfortable. My head's uh, pretty small so I don't need to adjust it very much. But if you guys can see right here, it's very comfortable. It feel, for right now, it feels comfortable but I can't wait to test it out to see how long I could last with these headphones on. Can I last hours upon hours wearing these headphones or can I not last that long with these headphones? I don't know for, to be honest, but these are very comfortable in my opinion. They feel very comfortable. So I cannot wait to test these out to see how long uh, I could last with these on me. So guys, that wraps it up for me with this unboxing of the Corsair Virtuoso's wireless XT headphones. I cannot wait to fully use these headphones and come back and give you guys a full review on these once I've done testing with them. Um, if you guys like to follow me on my Twitch channel, um, I will be streaming from time to time. So make sure you guys follow me on there to see whether or not I'm on. Also follow me on my socials to know when I will be on uh, streaming. Um, other than that, make sure you guys like this video, subscribe if you haven't, and leave down in the comment section below what you guys think about these headphones. Did I make a mistake by getting the XTs over the SEs? Who knows? Let's try it out. Um, but other than that, I'll see you guys on my next video. Peace.